Let's return to Living Word Bible Church in Mesa, Arizona for more of Gary's message, The Power of Rest, now on Fixing the Money Thing. So the Bible says it's still possible for you to enter into God's rest, which means everything completed, everything finished, everything there. There now still remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God, for anyone who does not lean to his own system of painful toil and sweat, but learns God's rest, can find a way of escape out of his rest and find a completion, a way of living that's above that painful toil and sweat system. Yes, amen. 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 Now, what can you not do on the Sabbath? So, well, you know, the Sabbath day, right? What what could they not do on the Sabbath? Painful toil and sweat, right? The earth curse system. So we were raised in the Sabbath mentality as a religious concept. On the Sabbath, it was God's day, a day we came to church, we served God. It was all about God. It's God's holy day, the Sabbath. Is it Saturday? Is it Friday? Is it Sunday? You know, we don't, there's all kinds of discussions on that. But nevertheless, it's holy, right? Do you know the Bible says the Sabbath was made for you, not for God? It was made for you, not for God, the Sabbath day. So why did God make the Sabbath day? After Adam fell, he gave him the Sabbath. Why? Because first of all, it was a promise or a picture of what was to be restored back to man. Number two, God had to stop him because he was in survival mode and he was running, running, running to find provision. And God said, okay, stop everything on this day. Stop, because this guy's gonna keep running and running and never get a hold of God. Stop and worship me on this day. Because under the earth curse system, it's all about painful toil and sweat running for provision, correct? So God said, Stop. So God created the Sabbath day. Colossians chapter 2, verse 16 and 17 says, Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are a what? shadow the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Now hold this. The Sabbath is no longer a day. It's a person. In fact, when Jesus was asked about the resurrection, he said he was the resurrection. The Sabbath is not a day. The Sabbath was a picture of what Jesus restored. You understand? Jesus has restored back to us a way to live with completion, everything Adam lost has now been restored through, uh, through Jesus to us. All right. So this, this was a shadow. The Sabbath was a shadow. So you don't have to get hung up, is it Friday, you know, sunset to sunset or a Sunday? You don't have to get hung up on that because you live in the Sabbath now. Every day is a Sabbath. You live in the Sabbath. Jesus is your Sabbath. All right, now, that's good, but people still live under work. They still have not escaped this. Trust me, I've seen it. The multitude of Christians are not living in the Sabbath rest. So let's find out. So let's talk about the shadow. How many had, uh, in school, they would turn your face sideways with a projector and draw the outline of your shadow on a white piece of paper? Kindergarten class or something. The shadow gave you some idea of the person, but not the character or the reality, right? It was simply a picture of what some attributes were of that person. And so we can look at the Sabbath and we can begin to learn what Jesus has restored to us. So the Sabbath day, they didn't have to, or they couldn't work. Depend on that system, under the earth curse system. So the Sabbath, the reality is, that we're not tied to that system of labor in exchange for provision. We do labor, but we do not labor in survival mode. We labor on assignment with passion and zeal, completely different, flipped upside down. You got that? So how much prosperity is this shadow showing you? Remember, this is a shadow. We get some glimpses of its potential by seeing the shadow, So now we see a definition of the shadow. What is the shadow telling you? What should your life look like? Everything complete, not living paycheck to paycheck in survival mode, but having more than enough. Paul says being able to be generous on every occasion, 
The Bible says being the lender, not the borrower. But you, people have renewed their mind to what they see. And you need to get this picture. This whole thing was given to them so they'd have a picture, have a picture of what, picture what God says, a picture of what would be restored to them, a picture of what life is supposed to look like, supposed to look like, all right? So this is the key part. This is the, this is the part that gets exciting. Pastor Gary, how is the Sabbath rest possible? I agree. The Bible says, Hebrews chapter four, there is now a Sabbath rest for you, the people of God who enter into God's rest. Everything's complete. He provided everything. And we have the shadow of how many, you know, all the things he talked about, sonship, provision, overflow, great prosperity, no longer attached to the painful toil and sweat system. But how is it possible? Well, we know we're gonna prosper so much that but the Sabbath rest, how is the Sabbath rest possible? Exodus chapter 16, regarding the manna. Remember, they traveled into the wilderness. They received the manna every morning, remember? It did not last long. It evaporated. They could not keep it overnight. Verse 25, eat it today, Moses says, because today is a Sabbath to the Lord. You'll not find any of it, any, any man on the ground today, on the Sabbath. Six days, verse 26, six days you are to gather it, but on the seventh day, the Sabbath, there'll not be any. Nevertheless, some of the people went out on the seventh day to gather it, but they found none. Then the Lord said to Moses, how long will you refuse to keep my commands and my instructions? Bear in mind that the Lord has given you the Sabbath. That is why on the sixth day, he gives you bread for two days. Everyone is to stay where they are on the seventh day. No one is to go out. So the people rested on the seventh day. How could they rest? It's very simple. How can they rest? Because they had the double portion on the sixth day. So write this down. The Sabbath rest is not possible without the double portion. In other words, in my observation, a lot of Christians are happy to receive satisfied, but are missing the double portion. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCasey.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing and thanks for watching.